everyone, my name is Emma Grace and today I'm going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. So today I'm going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. I know it's not the middle of the year. Basically this tag is where you do it sometime in the middle of the year or like a little after the middle of the year if you're me and you reflect on the past half year of reading and what's gone on, your favorite books, your least favorite books, what you're excited to read. So yeah. The first question is the best book that you've read this year and without a doubt this is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. Ace of Shades was like so good. Ace of Shades essentially follows this girl named N who travels to the city of New Rains to find her mother and she's like training to be a lady so she's like I'd never go there but she has to find her mom so she goes there and she only has one lead by the name of Levi and Levi isn't who she's expected. He's a 17 year old con man who is running a con that has just gone drastically wrong. She offers him something that can fix it in return for him helping her look for her mother because he knows the city you know that kind of thing so ace of shades was just so good i got so invested in it i loved the characters i just i absolutely loved it and i could not recommend it to you enough i just love it it's a bit slow getting into it but like those are my favorite kind of books so i apologize if you're like reading it and you're like this is so slow but it just gets so good and i love the characters and i just love it so much next question is best sequel and would you believe it i have not read like a single sequel except like one this entire year. I've read either like first books in series, like I've read some spin-offs which are kind of sequels but not the same. Yeah, I've read like one or two. So by default it's Dream On by Kirsten Gear, which is by no means my favorite sequel I've ever read. I gave it a four out of five stars but I honestly don't remember that much about it so I feel like there's not much I can say especially since it's a sequel but it is a good book I guess. The next question is your favorite new release and for this one I have to go with Truly Devious. I believe this book came out in 2018, but Truly Devious is a YA mystery thriller all about this girl who heads off to the school to solve a murder that happened like way back when the school first opened in the 30s. It flashes back between her time and the school when it seems that the murderer, Truly Devious, has come back to commit another one. It's a series which is something that I'm really looking forward to because I feel like so often thrillers and mysteries are like standalones. It's just really exciting. The next question is your biggest anticipated most anticipated release of 2018 in the second half of 2018 queen of air and darkness by cassandra clare queen of air and darkness is the going to be the epic conclusion to the dark artifices which is like a great series if you haven't heard of it it's just like so good and i'm so excited to see how everything wraps up cassandra clare's conclusions are just always amazing so i'm really interested to see like the second book ended on a cliffhanger and i just want to see what goes on in queen of air and darkness and it comes out in december so i still have a long time to wait but next question is biggest disappointment for this one i looked through my goodreads because there was no book that really like stuck out to me because I feel like biggest disappointments like I just don't remember them but I think my biggest disappointment was the language of stars but the language of stars essentially follows this girl who's dating this really popular guy and they throw this party in like this very respected poet's house because they like somehow get in and they basically destroy the house they trash it and as like community service they have to take a poetry class from this poet that's like very respected in their town and it's all about her finding herself and like learning poetry it's just really kind of sexist like there's like a lot of like sexist comments that just were never challenged and like I get that you're not supposed to like the person who says them but it's also just kind of like she still does and she doesn't really like she finds herself but then she doesn't really learn anything so it's kind of frustrating I also was kind of bored like I feel like there wasn't a lot to the story it was just a girl kind of going to poetry class and finding herself but I feel like she really didn't like even learn that much except about poetry but then yeah I don't know I just feel like she was in the same place as she was when the story first started if that makes sense the next question is biggest surprise and that for me would have to be the cruel prince I'm sorry the lighting's so weird the cruel prince was a book okay I picked it for the biannual bibliothon and it was for the predicted five star read and I gave it five stars so how was it the biggest surprise the reason I picked it for predicted five star read was because it had been on my shelf forever and I was like I need to read this book 
Um, but I picked it for Predicted 5 Star because so many people have been saying it. it's a 5 star book. So I was like, okay, it's probably a 5 star book. I'm gonna read it. But it's just like, fairy books really aren't my thing, I've discovered, unless they're done right. And I've heard like Holly Black is like the queen of writing fairy books. And so I was interested. It was the first Holly Black book I've ever read because all her books deal with fairies and I'm like not a big fairy person. But then I read it and I loved it. I read it in one day for the biannual Bibliothon and it was so good. It's my second favorite book of this year, which I expected it to be good, but I didn't expect it to be my second favorite book of the year. Like it's only second to Ace of Shades. It was so good. I just read it and I like had to tweet about it afterwards because I just got so worked up over it and I was like so into it. I was pacing the plot twist. It was just so good and I would highly recommend it. Next is the book that made you cry. Now the book that made me cry the hardest this year was actually I read it back in January and that was The Fallen Kingdom by Elizabeth May. This book, just if you've read the whole series and then like what happens at the end of that book, I think it was like 1.30 a.m. And I was just crying. I was crying so hard. It was, it, like, it was amazing. It was like my favorite book in the series and I absolutely loved it and I love Elizabeth May's writing style and I can't wait to read more from her. But it was a really sad book. Next is a book that made you happy and for this one I had to go with Clockwork Angel. Yes, I read Clockwork Angel back in 2015 but I've reread it every single year since then and this was my 2018 reread. So I'll talk about this more in my wrap up but I've decided since last year to read my favorite series, The Infernal Devices, every single year. The Clockwork Angel is the first book in the series and I just read it one or two weeks ago and it was just really good. It was like such a good book. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Like I just read it for the first time. This is the fourth time I've read it since 2015. It was just like, it always makes me happy. Like I just read it and I re-fall in love with it over and over again, even more than I think I will. Like I literally, my sister saw me reading it and she was like, why are you reading that again? And I'm like, I just love it so much. And I'll like go and tell everyone that like, oh, I just love this series so much. And they're like, haven't you read that? Like I've heard you talk about it a ton of times. And I'm just like, I know, but it just makes me so happy to read this book and I'm so excited to continue on with my reread and reread Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. Next is your favorite book to movie adaptation. My favorite book to movie adaptation was definitely Love, Simon. Like, can we talk about a cute rom-com? Like, it was so good and I know a lot of people loved it but honestly like I just loved Love, Simon. It was so cute. I think they adapted it really well and I think it did stay true to the original source. Next is your favorite review you've done in 2018. Now I haven't done many reviews in 2018. I kind of like got really into doing Goodreads reviews in 2017 and then I kind of stopped. Um, but the only video review I've done in 2018 has been Ace of Shades so I guess by default it's Ace of Shades. Finally is the books you need to read before this year ends. So I would have to go with number one, Queen of Air and Darkness. Obviously I have to finish that series which, you know, it hasn't come out yet, so can't blame myself for not reading it. And the second is Kingdom of Ash, which is the conclusion to the Throne of Glass series. Can't believe I forgot that. Um, but I'm really excited to see how that one wraps up as well. Oh my god, we're getting like the conclusion to Throne of Glass and the conclusion to the Dark Artifices within the span of a few months. And the final one I think is a study in Charlotte because I've seen so many people talking about it and like so many people saying they love it and recommending it so I'm like, you know what? I need to read that book. So that was my 2018 mid-year book freakout tag. I did do this tag last year so if you want to check that out I will be linking it down below but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye! But I got the, I got the, I got the power you make rain But I make it, I make it, I make it shine